We just arrived to Malacca city in Malaysia, one of the most interesting places in full entire country regarding the history and the culture and the stories all around. Like this church is from 1753, I don't want to make a mistake, that's why I read it. It's currently under the UNESCO hated site since 2008, so it's a lot of is going on here, a lot of history and a lot of places to show you today. Beautiful weather, not so busy because holidays are finished, so let's go, don't waste the time. The city started as Malacca Sultanis, then it was occupied by the Portuguese, that's why the church was built by the Portuguese. Then it was occupied by the Dutch for a while, that's why you have a windmill over there, which is the symbol of the Dutch, obviously. And then it was occupied by the British, by like full entire Malaysia at, at the end eventually. Also somebody making TikTok or Instagram, by the way. And there is, I think, something about the mosque. So everybody living here in the harmony. You can also find the Chinatown, which is over there, Jonker Street, we're gonna go. And also some Indian accent. So all nations, all the ethnicity living together in the harmony. Once more, one more time in Malaysia, but especially in Malacca. So if you asking me about my first impression about Malacca, it's romantic city. Why it is romantic? Look at behind me. Everything here is, the color is pinkish. So nice. And I think that most of the people just coming here, you know, just making a pictures for their social media. It's beautiful. It's very hot here in Malacca, guys. So what I can say, it is much hotter than Kuala Lumpur. So, yeah. <laughs> I will bring my umbrella everywhere I go. Let's go. <laughs> like a, like a, in Chinese culture on summer, they wearing umbrellas. And now we are going to Chinatown, by the way. You have to cross the street here. My scientist is saying, since we just arrived here as this city is very romantic. <laughs> so, yes, you see, look at the river here, the Malacca River. This, I think, river reminds me of the river in Hoi An when we were in uh, Vietnam, right, honey? That's actually a good point. Both of the cities, Malacca and Hoi An in Vietnam, they are heritage, UNESCO. Uh, very similar with the river, very similar with the history, of course, different history and different culture, but the similar ages, similar times in Asia. So yeah, this is like an equivalent, if we could say like that. Okay, now let's, let's explore a little bit of Malacca over here. Beautiful place, but very hot super hot it's definitely much way hotter than in Kuala Lumpur look at behind me this beautiful mural art on the wall so I think that it represents you know Malaysian uh, you know people from Indian uh, Chinese Malay they live in harmony and look at this one I think this one is the picture of the Sultan, right? It's made with the Sultan, I think so, looks like that. You can find the murals like that everywhere where you are walking, especially in old town in Malacca. And this is a little bit of the history, Malaysia, China, friendship. Uh, check this out, beautiful murals over here. And we are actually going a little bit to Jonker Street to Chinatown. Everywhere here, very nice mural art. So now let's go to the Jonker Walk Street. Jonker Walk. This is like a Chinatown and the old town is full of small streets like this one. And this is like a durian shop or something like that. So much is going on. Also, the sun is very sharp currently. So to make a little bit better shots, I have to film facing opposite the sun, obviously. Sayang is walking under the umbrella, enjoying. But check this out, the architecture here and all of the buildings. Very nice indeed. Little bit different than Kuala Lumpur, isn't it? Yeah, but, it's more peaceful, less hustle and bustle but life. But at least 200 years older city at the same time. Here we go, this is the entrance to the legendary Jonker Walk Street. Um, well, this is Chinatown and Chinatown is very popular here in Malacca. But also it's Chinese New Year coming very shortly and there's also a lot of tourists everywhere here, at least here in Chinatown. Okay, we're gonna walk on the other side of the street because obviously shed and we can find so many interesting little shops everywhere. So cool. Uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit more about Chinatown today because last times I was focusing a little bit on the other side of the town but I think Chinatown deserves 
a little bit more attention today. Here we have uh, the Stolen Cup Cafe. It's been the last time I think I could go again for having a coffee. I believe many of you guys didn't watch my previous videos from Malaysia when I was uh, in June. So, well, many things I already covered, but I will cover, of course, more. And anyway, this is the Chinatown, one of the main streets of Jonker Walk. The weather is changing very quickly. It was very sunny and currently it's cloudy already. But one sad thing what I realized that is it's not every shop here is open. Many shops are still closed, unfortunately. Uh, well, this is the post-pandemic times, obviously, everywhere around the world. But also here you can see the signs of that, right? There is some nice old shop. I don't know if it's the name of the old shop or old shop, really selling some interesting goods like a traditional cakes, biscuits, stuff like this one. And check this out, I wanna show you a little bit around 360 what's going on here and how does it look like. Small streets, little bit similar to Penang vibe. Maybe some of you know more Penang than, uh, well, Malacca, because Penang is like, a, I don't know, for some reason for the international visitors, Penang is very popular, Penang. Malacca maybe less. But in my opinion, both of the cities definitely worth to try to visit whenever you are in Malaysia. And it seems like some tourists are actually coming here. Jonker Gallery you can find here. As you can see, many people coming to making their pictures, especially next to the old shop. And then... Wow, look at behind me. I don't know what is it, Hokkien Waikwan. Is it a Chinese temple or something like that? But unfortunately, it's closed. But many people come here but just look to at take the a beautiful, picture. Uh, paintings behind you on the door so nice and level of detail so yes. cool and overall the architecture of the city of Malacca is very nice really like it wow so cool check this out these buildings over there we are strolling around the Jonker street in Chinatown looking for some places to eat maybe something land I think this is the lunch time look at this shop with the souvenirs also very cool small tables all stores I love Malacca some clothes, you know, this is already a tourist city, obviously, uh, which under the UNESCO, so must be so many places with the souvenirs and some very regular stuff. Taman Warisan Dunia Jonker Walk. Unfortunately, it's closed due to renovation. So yeah, let's stroll around more. Wow, nice, beautiful places in general. So murals are very creative, like this one, old building, but nice mural. And well, traffic, this is small one-way road streets here. Well, looking for the lunch, that's for sure. And we actually find out something in the corner. Something is going on. This is a nice place, but the Black Navara blocking the view, actually. Like a Chinese restaurant or something like that. And here is some also very nice looking bar or place to eat. Not sure. Geographer Cafe, its name, seems like popular. One of many, but very nice. Very nice indeed. Very unique style. Basically, when we are strolling uh, around the Chinatown, you can find so many small alleys with so many cozy cafes and restaurants. Not, of, not all of them, they are open, obviously, but overall you can find something interesting to, to eat and drink everywhere around. Also, this is the one of the cities what is for holiday makers. For us, we are travelers, explorers, so we came here only for one day, obviously. But I know some of the people coming here for like a week or even two. So it's all up to you what kind of uh, visitor you are. But our recommendation is definitely yes. It's my third time in Malacca and definitely whenever I'm going to come again, I will come here over. Uh, okay, let's find some places to eat. Yes, yes I am? yeah. So when we stroll around, you see that there are also some hotel here. But one thing I realize, they still keep the old traditional building, even though maybe they just refurbish a little bit. But still, they preserve their traditional culture. You see, still the old traditional building here. So just like this shop, guys, from outside, we can still see the traditional building but from inside, already modern with the aircon, so nice! One thing about the cars, I, I like the cars in general, so they drive the nice Alphas and Mercedes and everything, even the big cars like this one, but look how gently and nicely and legit they park! This is something very nice actually, even the small one-way roads, they have a special place with the number perfectly parked, like exactly you're going to the driving school in Europe, 
here they park that way. There are also some uh, massage shops, massage parlors, food reflexology and all of this stuff. So, well, this is the sign of as the place is more tourist one. But also, when it's the city, if they're considering about the tourists, they have to provide all the services like this one, right? And, well, there is no lack of the interesting places like this one, actually, as well. I don't know what is it, but very interesting concept of the cafe. Unfortunately, closed recently. So, one thing I just see from this street, so many cafes are closed, like this cafe, and then this one also unfortunately they are closed i don't know and then over there also they are closed many nice things but many closed right do we come in the wrong time honey i don't know last time was busy but was the school holidays in june it's lunch time so let's go here okay let's go to the stall and cup again last time i had a here uh, coffee but they have a nice croissant Let's see actually what we can find here. Very nice place, by the way, gonna tell you. Just filming recently just from coming in. Why not? Very nice, very nice place. And they have some clear green water and cakes. Unfortunately, we may come inside and I start making video, but they said as they are just closing in 10 minutes. You can have only quick coffee if you want, but we didn't eat anything, so... We need but, to have a proper lunch. But the cafe is very nice, highly recommended, but you have to come here or just for having a coffee, that's for sure. There is another cafe, also looks very nice restaurant. Unfortunately, sorry, we are closed oh, already. Oh, closed. So, all is closed. Oh, no. Gravy baby still waiting for us. I know, I know, not so local, but <laughs> no well, choice. What we can do, all is closed. Chicken Chinese place, chicken rice also closed, Sayang. Pretty many places closed, so, well, you can always recover yourself here, gravy baby, okay, let's go. This is the cafe inside, by the way, in case if you would like to come here, as everything else is closed, there is the river view, actually, Sayang sitting here. And they have a very nice pizzas here, like this one, small duck pizza. That's the price is little bit. They have also burgers, Western food and everything. And one thing, if you used to live in Bali with the expensive price, if you go to cafe like this, but when you see the price like this, still affordable, even this one in the tourist place, right? It's very tourist hotspot actually, right? Sayang, what is your food here? Show I me. I just ordered something curry, chicken curry, and with this rice something. And none? Wow, what a big portion it is. Not so bad, huh? <laughs> I want to try this. Oh, okay. look, the bread. This is what you can find in the places like this one. Western, but also mixed. This is like an Indian cuisine, right? Yes, yes. Oh, la la, look at your food, honey. Yeah, that's the very nice pizza with the duck, yeah? Come closer, show the piece of the duck here. So there is normally literally duck and the peach. Very nice. That's actually very nice. As you know, as I like pizza, been a while. But actually, since we left Bali, since we left Bali, I didn't have a pizza yet. <laughs> so it's good time. Okay, cheers. It's much nego. Selamat makan. It's so yum. All right, guys. So we are after uh, our lunch. Very nice, by the way. We still took the food, take away half of the pizza because the portions are big. It's raining recently, so we're gonna come with the umbrella again, by the way. <laughs> and also regarding the prices for all what you saw, we paid 120 ringgits, which is about 27 dollars American. Sounds a little bit expensive, but if you're thinking twice about that, it's pretty the same like you will have a dinner in Changu or in Seminyak in Bali. Actually, yeah, currently prices are like that. Of course, this is not like a local food is more into western food but i think it's yeah very affordable still it's definitely not the prices like uh, well in western countries of course honey yeah. so yesterday we were in the longest night market we only spent small money there yes but here it's okay la. it's like it's like holidays <laughs> after i don't know in holidays on holidays you know yeah but it's like what you said, it's the same price like Changu price. Also later on, around 6 or 7 p.m., the, on this street, starting here, going that direction, there will be the uh, street food, night street food market and stuff like this. But during daytime, especially after 4, everything is closed. So at least now you know where you can eat. So eventually we come back to the river walk um, because on the one side and on the other side of the street, you can walk like a you know, little path here and explore the beautiful murals and paintings and all of the vibes here. There is one even fancy looking cozy bar, restaurant, bar, 
by the river you can have a look around walk but on the other side and actually on the same side of the street actually only one here is open however a uh, very beautiful place to walk PTS not every business is open yet after the pandemic but maybe in the future in the near future everything will come back to normal hopefully another tourist attraction here is the river cruise Malacca river cruise just like behind me unfortunately we couldn't take it now because we will leave to Kuala Lumpur soon yeah we're gonna leave to Kuala Lumpur soon but it's nice to take it next time and maybe for you would you like to take it cruising around the river of Malacca there are actually two maybe three maybe four bars like this one with the kind of clap loud music and what you could have as some beers but uh, like literally maybe three four but yeah still better than nothing by the river is actually very um you know enjoyable to to be very similar a little bit to the boat key yeah boat key actually but there is actually very busy but yeah different different vibe so behind me is the old world heritage city of the Malacca and that's also the church old church there is the modern buildings with the you know sky with the skyscrapers all the big and high and tall buildings over there there is the one of the main intersections here in Malacca and somewhere this actually also and you hear the sound of the birds also you can find some hotels and some bars and stuff like this one definitely you can feel the old vibe of the city here there's the bank and some public parking here you know here you can find a little bit of the history the ruins of the actually the wall of Malacca and there is the welcome to Malacca World Heritage City beautiful mural actually representing Malacca and Georgetown historic cities of the Straits of Malacca. Very nice, I'm gonna tell you. Very nice welcoming mural. We actually finishing video with welcoming, but that's how it is. And also here is the Saint uh, Francis Xavier Church from 1849. So you can see many, many things in one city. We are going back to the, you know, the Red Church where we start. Empty streets, actually. The city is pretty quiet after four or five. But here is some reggae shop with the Bob Marley in the background. Uh, very similar vibes actually to Georgetown in Penang, I have to agree. Wait, 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 honey. So look at this kebaya. It looks like my kebaya style in Bali, you know? Very similar actually. And Baltic also. Wow, it looks like similar. <laughs> very nice. And look at very the shoe, nice. also nice. Very nice. Nice stuff. <laughs> Coffee arrived. Coffee time. <laughs> So we're having our 7-Eleven coffee break here, charging our phones, camera, having snack, chocolate, charging. This one. Yeah, this is what I actually wanted to say. They have a charging point, so you can charge your phone or something, everything using the socket and everything. Very nice shops, Cheers. always. Cheers, guys. Now it's time to go back to Kuala Lumpur, so we will take Grab to the, what is it called, the bus station. And more and more people still coming actually in. Last shot of Melaka. And here we go, we arrive to the uh, Melaka Central Station. The station is a little bit still old school, but uh, you can find many interesting shops and everything what you need actually. And that's the main purpose of the station. We are going back to Kuala Lumpur by bus. Our bus is at 6.30 and currently is uh, 6.06, so we have a little time for chill. So we're going to home by the KK Kale Express bus, like this one, and it's cost you only 14.41 way. So it's really not so bad, actually. It's like 130 kilometers long, one and a half hour, two hours journey. So it's just like from Sanur, like in Bali, yeah? <laughs> from Sanur to Gilimanuk. Yeah, but here one and a half hour, in Bali four and a half hour, if you are lucky. Wait, 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 how much the price? Or 14 ringgits, 40 cents, so it's like, um, I don't know, 350 dollar, something like that, US, 50k, something like that. Yeah. The transportation by bus in Malaysia actually very affordable, I'm gonna tell you. Not so busy, but very affordable, that's for sure. Also, if you would like to do it easier way, you could take a grab car from Kuala Lumpur, wherever you stay, and it will cost you approximately 200, 250 ringgits uh, one way. 
Uh, so it's like 50, 60 dollars one way. This is like easy way, but more money, but we can, we have time. We are explorers, like I said, travelers. We have time to drive in a bus. But enough of exploring of Malacca. Now it's time to chill a little bit because we're doing videos every single day. So we're not taking that much rest. So we prefer doing like, you know, now half hour, chill, drink, charge the batteries, go home wake up tomorrow, <laughs> edit the video, and again, you never know what's gonna be tomorrow. We're also gonna show you when we're gonna arrive to Kuala Lumpur. So this is how it looks like inside the bus going to Kuala Lumpur, Malacca, Johor Bahru, Penang. You can go like this, have a seat like this one, plenty of space for the legs like this one, big window, everything what you need, just no food and drinks. <laughs> After that, everything is cool, like this one, very clean, smell good, all good. Two hours and we are in Kuala Lumpur. All right. This is our bus and we arrive back to Kuala Lumpur to TB station very important in Kuala Lumpur over here is the KLA transit and some metro stations and KTM commuter train overall if you are looking to coming to travel between the cities in Kuala Lumpur earlier or later you will have to come here to TBS uh, because the on the train or either the bus especially the bus is coming from here uh, well that's that's the station in general we're gonna show you how to get to the brown line rlt now because we are going back to masi jamek station and then taking bus back home uh, well tbs that's the name remember that and that's the full name of the station terminal bersepadu selatan well and inside looks like this one overall everywhere there are stations where you could buy the tickets to going to anywhere you know, in the Malaysia, especially like Johor Bahru or Penang or Melaka, where we were today, you can come from this station. Looks like this one, quite busy actually, I'm gonna tell you. And then the, there are taxis and all of this stuff, counters, gates going. So it's pretty big stations, can be a little bit confusing if you're coming for the first time, but trust me, everything is easy actually to, to navigate here. Really not so bad. And well, just like I'm coming right now, this is the way to the train and the LRT. Basically, we are going now to Masi Jamek by LRT Brown Line, and then we're taking bus 300 or 303 to Jalan Ampang, where we are staying. But we could go also to KLCC and then take a bus. But, well, there are many options, actually, to where to get to one specific place. Usually, you have a two, three options around. As you can see, you have a care commuter transit, rapid here, buses, taxis, LRT, Everything is down there actually, like this one. You're going down, 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 down. So you can also have a train back to the airport or KL Central. And well, that's the, everything is connected by the links. And well, as you can see, so many, so many rails everywhere around. This is very huge station in general. And then we are going from Bandar Tasik Selatan up to Masid Jamek, direction of Central Timor. Uh, yeah, that's how it looks like. Station looks like this one. We're gonna go soon. And also, this is complicated sometimes. You have to really read where is the train coming because two different lines coming from the same same station, like same same line, same direction. And here we go. Our train arrived to Central Timor to Masid Jamek. We are going right now. The same actually train what we came from last time from IOI Puchong, actually. <laughs> We just arrived to the Masid Jamek, but look at the weather outside, so rainy, but beautiful view of the Masid Jamek itself. This is like an old town and the old mosque and the river of life. Nice view from the metro station, but also the rain is also very nice. Now it's a little bit problematic to get home by the way. I don't know if you can see, but uh, there is the water is coming to the river. Check this out, I will zoom it for you. It's very heavy rain now in Kuala Lumpur. First time I see since two weeks like that. All right, so we just arrived home. It's already 10.30 p.m. <laughs> it's quite late. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and see you tomorrow. Bye.